But we continue our inspirational true story series and welcome to the Harvey Norman Lounge to Pua Ehrlich who spent the majority of his life under state care and has now taken his experiences to the top working with the government to create a completely new care system. Welcome to Pua, it's lovely to have you here. Thank you for having me. Now I must say, um, Voice Whakaronga Mai, that's just been launched and we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, but first I want to know a little bit more about you, I mean you had a pretty rough start. Yeah, I did. Um, and it's quite a common thing for us who grow. I mean, well, if you could picture it like this, any time that a child can't live with their family or be raised with their family is going to be difficult. Um, that's without the added complications that we face in the system also. Yeah. So you've been in care, I guess, most of your life. Would that be right? Correct, yeah. At what age? Can you remember? Um, from five to 16. And how many homes do you think you would have gone through? <laughs> this is the sad truth. You know that it's too many when you can't, remember the number it was quite a few and it's it's not only the number it's the the large contrast between the environments that you're mm. placed in and um, if you move home you move town you move school um. so why did you have so many well that's a good question um, I believe it's because the system from the start as soon as they get young people um, that back then it was to find a placement not to find a home and so that's been one of the challenges that we've faced um, and many of us have to really struggle through. And yeah. w what did that end up, I guess, doing for you? Obviously, you want to come out the other end of it. Were you angry about the situation? Were you frustrated? Um, I guess I was really quite broken, and um, social skills are the first things to go out the window. Um, but the sad thing is, is it's the isolation that is the most dangerous thing, because when you feel so unstable, you can't really get comfortable and open up. It's sad when you feel so isolated in a system with thousands of young people just like you. Um, and voice whakarunga mai to us, it's about connecting us together so that isolation isn't a thing that exists. Mm. Um, that we're not a, you know, an outcast in our society. In fact, we have the ability to turn our quite dark past into amazing bright futures. So, so what was the tipping point for you where you, you, you were on a path to one way that you sort of did a you'd about turn and started working with the government? Yeah, I, I was very fortunate that I had some really strong mentors come into my life um, and I really do count that as great luck because I always imagine what it would be like if they didn't come along and that's what really makes me passionate about this work. Um, first of all, you've got to have... The, I had people that came into my life who saw me for who I was, not the way I was acting or behaving um, because, as I said, you're very broken, you, you often struggle to fit in. Um, but it's that person who's committed enough um, to bring out those leadership qualities. For us that began and um, I mean there's been young people who have come much longer before me and they've been fighting for this cause. Um, my journey began in 2013 when the Dingwall Trust held a uh, hui with the then Minister for Social Development Paula Bennett. Now that was the first time I got to confront in some way you know the system that to me when I was that age was just keeping me away from my family mm. um, and it's that empowerment and um, yeah, it's just really knowing that these people now, we're at a stage in 2017 where we have hope and we have hope because we've been heard what's and we continue to be heard. So what's interesting is that you were saying before is that it used to be as when you hit 17, that was it. You were out of care, so even if you were halfway through school, you didn't get to finish your school, and but you couldn't sign agreements to go and find anywhere to live. Is this the case? It is. Um, well, it was, and I was lucky enough through the review, the group of us that were together. I mean, that's the awesome thing about connection with people who understand you, um, who uh, have similar upbringings. Um, we all identify these issues, and that was one of the big things, and we're so glad to uh, say that that is being raised um, now to, to, to 21. That's great. Yeah, it is incredible, and I, I guess what Voice uh, Whakarongo Mai is about is plugging that gap, and here you're, you're the one that's done that. Uh, are you proud of what you've managed to achieve? I'm very proud, but I'll never forget that I could not have done this at all on my own, for definitely. Um, you know, I've really unique opportunities also, like I've had philanthropy, I've had non-government organisations, I've even had government come on in and be willing to make us a part of the work. So if anything, I'm really humbled by the opportunities and um, they make what I do a possibility today. Um, even with Voice Whakarungo Mai, it's a partnership of those three, um, or four, sorry. There's non-government, government, philanthropy, and most importantly, young people. So it's really a sense of community and New Zealand doing what's right for our young New Zealanders. Mm. So what's next? What are your hopes and dreams? Um, well, my hopes and dreams are to see, you know, 
voice, Whakarunga Mai has given, I've been given a lot to it over the past few years, um, and I know a lot of people have. And I really look forward to seeing all that work turn into something that really positively impacts our young people in New Zealand and to really promote that leadership and that empowerment through connection to each other. I, don't, I look forward to the day when children aren't feeling isolated or disempowered because of the circumstances they were brought yeah. up into. No, and you're a shining example, I guess, of if the system's working right, look yep. what you can achieve. So yep. congratulations, well done. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome work and an incredible achievement and such an inspiration. If you'd like to find out more about Voice Whakarongo Mai, check out their website, voice.org.nz.